How's it we're back playing, but we're not back playing. We are first now playing Babylon's Fall, the demo, because the real game, I think, comes out, I think, tomorrow as a time of this recording. So I figured, let's do the demo and see how it looks, because I'm down for some hack and slash. I have a mouse cursor up there for some reason. I, I just have to sign in with my, with my account to play. Oh, my God. That's probably what live service games is like. You got to sign into everything. Also, if I had to have an account, why isn't just my account name? Okay. I'm sure? I guess English. Oh, so it's English text. Okay. Well, I mean, let's see if we can change it. We'll make a new Sentinel. Ooh. A Hugian refined seafarers from the east. An Agavian noble soldiers from the mountains. And a Galilean skilled hunters from the West Isles. Your choice of faction determines what ability you'll have access to. So this horde thing. Show hide armor. I don't know what it matters. We all seem to be the same body type without armor. Interesting. Uh, I guess this one? I can always make another one. Type A, just male, female? Yeah. Okay, I think we got it. Swords, versatile weapons that are well balanced for offense and defense. They let themselves a variety of actions and are great for. Couldn't finish that. Inscribe these my words for all eternity, so the weak need not fear the strong. That the widow and orphan need not go hungry, and so that justice shall reign throughout the land. I imagine this is going to be a war torn hellhole. Hammurabi, king of Babylon. Okay, so it's, it's a real quote. Well, I've never heard that one before. <coughs> ah, he's got the plague. <coughs> we seem oddly calm about all this. Yeah, we'll get right on that. It's got interesting art style, I'll say that much. So I assume we're in Babylon and it's going to fall sometime soon. Let's see what you're made of. Don't let me down, you hear? Um, what's going on? So glad you could join us on this occasion. Does the savior of Neo-Babylon stand among us? Let's find out. Without further ado. <laughs> like, without further ado, everybody's like, uh, what are we supposed to be doing? Uh, <sighs> Let's see how many of you make it back this time. The Gideon Coffins, if you please! Those Tron Discs? Oh, it may actually be Tron Discs.
to Babylon. Not the friendliest welcome. Well, 60% of our forces died before we left the boat. I call this a good operation. Three, three souls have returned to us from the cruel depths of Tartarus. Praises to Jupiter. Does it mean all these people just showed up on the shore to watch us die? Jeez. So all those guards are there floating there. Okay, adjust camera with R. No kidding. Oh, do I want to invert? No. Move with L. I don't like that. I'm here and laughing, but I can't see anybody. Show yourself. Oh, well, that explains it. You're the old bastard with the mask from before. Maybe so, but don't trouble yourself over that. You lot have a ziggurat to get to. And step on it. We don't want to keep the people of Babylon waiting for a closer look at their new heroes. Heroes? Cut this shit. Who the hell do you think you are? Order us around. Quiet. Have you not noticed all the soldiers behind us? Resisting here would be suicide. Plain and simple. You two. We'd better get going. Those are one of the, these kind of tutorials where you can't do the actions until they tell you how to do them. I don't make cry and know where this is going. Lock on? Oh. Oh, so I essentially failed that. One hit and you're dead. Oh, L1 is lock on. They even had that Final Fantasy, like, 12 style, like, uh, lines coming out of the guys, whatever, whatever that's called. Also, switching between multiple games in this one's bad because I've been playing a lot of uh, <laughs> Elden Ring. So, like, uh, my buttons are com um, for lock on and stuff, and attacking are completely messed up. Because in this game, what is a what is dodge is attack in Elden Ring, and what is lock on is block, and what is attack is heal. Rank stone is probably bad, but once again, I come from I'm coming from a completely different play style. <laughs> nope, can't break that. I mean, the thing on top points me to my objective. I would never have thought. Is there a double jumping? Nope, but you can still jump really high. Okay, can't break those except for my body. There was a guard button. You probably have to get shields. Everybody's afraid of that guy? Just remember, you're in trouble if the Gigant Gallo finds you. 
Yeah, it's like, it's not time for explanations. By the way, you're fine if, if you, the googly gobbly gets you, you'll be in trouble. It's like, yeah, that clears everything up. Come on. You're just going to leave us to die here? Great job taking care of your new sentinels. Really glad I signed up for this. Wait, this was optional? This did not seem optional. Come and get me. Come on. I heard somebody. Also, how do I get more healing items? That'd be really useful. Oh, three coffins. Grab a hold of them with your Gideon gut and launch them towards enemies. Okay, how? And then L2? I'm pressing L2. Okay. Can I carry this? Nope. Not really. Oh, hey, it's my two friends who were here the entire time. Look out! Above you! What? Oh, uh, we're fine. Quick judgment call to make. Are we going to do anything? There it is. told me how to do that. And roll. That does not look good. It's hard to crystal like cutscene them.
Yennefer? This is not your time. Your soul is yet unhung. Now, Sentinel, bear your fangs in gracious wrath. I think Baldur's Gate 3, we just see what we want to see. We have to build that meter, right? Yep. Chapter four. Is this chapter four? Pure platinum, baby. I may have been stoned during those other ones, but platinum on the boss. to do that on your own. But you knew we could do this? It looks as if your initiation ceremony attracted some unwanted guests, Isham. Oh, Lady Sophia. Kairos, tend to the wounded. This one took down the gigant then. Right you are. Used a dynamis to do it too. Most interesting. Which is interesting, because if you knew that, that's something we could Let's do, why didn't you just let it do it in the first place? There's no signs of any other Galu in the area. Good. Let the machinists know we've got some new Galu remains for them to study. Oh, these old ears must deceive me. Here I thought the Emperor forbade Galu research. Know your enemy. There are rules, and then there's common sense. <laughs> Same Sophia as ever. Saturnus Gate. Open. We've got sentinels coming through. Now, to the next area. The great ziggurat of Babylonia once towered over the ancient world, casting its shadow across the vast empire as it reached towards the heavens. Babylonia has rested in memory for a thousand years. Through its military might, the Domitinian Empire now claims its ancient capital of Babylon. But? Proclaiming themselves the second coming of the old empire, the Domitinians scour the ziggurat ruins for relics of lost Babylonia. But? But the ruins there we are. are jealously guarded by the ineffable Gallo, fearsome monsters that attack without mercy those who would disturb the once great ziggurat. You mean grave robbers? Thus began the war between the Empire and the Gallo that rages around the ziggurat of Babylon to this day. So you guys went back to Babylon, started raiding the tombs for relics. These guardians came out to stop you, and now it's like, there's war, because that's our stuff. It's like, so you're basically at war for grave robbing. The demo has to be more than just four chapters, because that's not enough to sell somebody on a video game. You did okay. Healer, healing 3000. No, I received. You get nothing.
nothing. One week later. Sentinel Force Headquarters. Any luck at the dock, Sylvie? No, I'm afraid. Not even the rats can crawl aboard under so much security. I'm told it's a fool's errand anyway. Word has it, these coffins will fill us with poison the moment we desert. Only one way to find out. Ugh, those goddamn Imperial rats. Mm. And what of these satin ass git? <sighs> no good. They might have known as much. It's been a week now. Seven days with nought to do, but imagine we were anywhere but here. Oh, what a sorry bunch of cage birds we are. At least you're being well fed, it looks like. And plenty of wine, too. Here comes the one of the keys. If you've got time and energy enough to skulk around, then I've got a job to keep you busy. Gallo has been sighted in the civic cloister. Find them and dispose of them at once. So no backup from the brave Imperial Knights? What? You're afraid your armor will get dirty if you fight your own battles for once, huh? Insolent cur! We knights don't suffer insult lightly. Stand down, Kairos. Gallo are left to the Sentinels by Imperial decree. Talk you mean the same decree that said you can't research them? Boom! From the line like that. Again. Huh. Here I thought you lot were smart. For barbarians. Serves me right. Trust I've made my point. Now go. You'll want to speak with Isham in his workshop first. Then it's Galu hunting time. I've got high hopes for you. That's why I didn't kill you. Who are you, my valiant giant slayer? So these things give us superpowers. Oh, login bonus. So these things give us superpowers to the point where we can take down those giant things, but they are also slave restraint collars that keep us here? Interesting. Sentinels. <laughs> Sorry, it's only old Isham. So you're just an an enemy suit of armor, huh? Did, you? Did I? Uh, you know, you gave me quite a surprise too. Using a dynamis like you did back then. It's time to learn just what it was you did. Good. Come on, Sentinels. Gather round. Also, it's been a week. You couldn't tell us before? You need to know about your Gideon Coffin's dynamis ability. I tell you that extends from your Gideon Coffin like a ghostly guts can be used to interact with the environment around you. The Using the gut work of your Gideon Coffin in the ways that... Enables you several different dynamics abilities. At base level, these abilities enable you to swing from different maps and points, grab objects, control enemies. Much like I upgrade abilities at coffin. Okay, we'll get more. We'll get stronger. There are other dynamics abilities too, but as you can imagine, the Gallo aren't going to wait for me to finish my lecture. Oh, if only you had a whole week to explain this to us. We'll pick up where we left off later. Assuming you make it back from your first official mission, that is. <laughs>
<laughs> my ass. The less I hear about Dynamis, the better. We can't all be berserkers like you. Something tells me we're in for trouble. You're right about that. It's not every day you go from a man to a monster. By the way, did you see that masked guy upstairs? The one mumbling to some weird doll on his shoulder. Seems like working here could break anyone's mind. Well, it looked like the doll was connected to him by some kind of shining thread. Remind you of any other threads we heard about lately? You saying he used to be a sentinel? Either way, I'm sure he's got some stories to tell. Yeah, if he hasn't told them all to the pocket. Interesting, we should get going. Um, finally a weapon store. Can you just thing up my back? I can't hear you. The music's too loud. Ah, uh, my apologies. Shh. It's all right, Lady Galatea. As you might have guessed, I too was once a sentinel. During an operation, I sustained a nearly fatal wound. What? In order to keep me alive, Master Isham performed an amazing medical feat. In other words, I'm doing all the work for this scarecrow's missing part. But you are the one making Galatea talk, aren't you? I'll admit the tone of voice is different, but... Well, you see, that's a bit difficult to explain. But let's just say that it's true, but also not true. Ah, I know. When you sleep, your body sometimes twitches, does it not? In the same way, I'm speaking, but not necessarily in control. Sounds like a lot of oxy to me. Just an excuse for you to get away with having a loud mouth. I, I assure you, it's not a lie. Go easy on him, Gallagher. You just going to let him call your maggot? We're prisoners. Does it really matter if we're maggots or monsters? Kind of. Thank you, Pygmalion. And Lady Galatea, is it? I'm Sylvie. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. I'm Galaga, Lion of Galilea. Me. I don't talk much. Yes, I look forward to seeing all of you sentinels. And Galaga, we've got lots of junk that's perfect for maggots like you. Hey! Alright, can I actually buy something from you? Your quest. The Tower of Babylon, the Civic Cloister. There we go. Okay, so we unlocked several different ones to go through. Okay, so this one is... Recommended Power 1, good. Potions available at 5 and self rebounds available at 5. Okay. So I'm assuming you get less and less. And we are matchmaking, okay. I am ready! Three, two, one! There was what I noticed it was weird. Um, when I was downloading the demo, it was bigger on the PS4 than the PS5. Spires of a Dad. Be careful. Okay, good advice. Anything in the pot? No. Well, that does not inspire confidence. Quiet, 
sentinels. Ugh. Stop doing that, damn it. Welcome to the Civic Cloister. The most orderly level of the Ziggurat by far. Thanks, in large part, to a citizenry eager to obey Imperial decree. You won't find many loitering around at night. Orderly? I think the word you're looking for is the last. What was that? Whoa, dodge. Todd's a strong word. Got him. And we also got a relic of sorts. Oh, well, you guys just die. <laughs> now what? Can I like rip his shield off in my, uh, my, my mind powers? Oh, but I can't break it with my mind, with my uh, curse power. Nebulous, you define abilities. I'm proud of you. What's the point of this except to stall us? Like, honestly, what is the point of that? Is it, like, to pass through a loading screen? Oh my god, it's the pass through a loading screen, isn't it? Oh, what are you? Oh, that's actually timed. I feel like I could jump that, but I don't know why I would want to. I do appreciate that you can get, like, a bunch of hits off while they're... The only way thing is I can't switch targets. Like, like, LNR, like, like, there's nothing that switches targets. Let's try not locking on. Okay, not locking on may actually work better. Oh. Some kind of distortion field. Hello? Interesting. Yeah, new phone. Who this? Okay, so there's some kind of s ow switch. Hey, quit throwing bombs at me.
Well, I mean, if he's gonna take himself out, it makes my job easier. This looks like a boss arena. Nope. Oh. It's a normal arena. That poor guy, he wasn't even the one who I dodged, and he still got wrecked. I, I, okay, I mean, surrendering works fine. That's right, it is some kind of time distortion field. Now you're sensing something dangerous? I mean, they even got, what's this, a fog wall? Oh, multiple somethings. Oh, hey, these are, these are what we were fighting. The, what we saw in the shop. Well, they tell the like, Q-Teller got their attacks like that, it's gonna be easy. I saw that coming, I did nothing. So do you think you put the challenge? I was playing Elden Ring before I played this. Come on. And that's the chapter. No treasure chest? No loot? Ah. 
Oh, well, request complete. I guess it's fine. Naturally. I was a healer because I'm the only person here. Completion bonus. We got stuff. What does exchange all mean? I mean, I don't have any choice. Exchange? Okay, they turned this up. Woo! That's a cool looking sword. It's cool looking greaves. Cool looking bows. Makes me look a little fat, but I'm, I'm down. Ooh, hood. Wow, that's an interesting hood. Just snuff it out again. Did that guy just T pose in the room? You're the boy from the market. Like, I was skipping most of this dialogue because I just want to end the game, but that dude just straight teleported and T pose in the in the middle of our conversation. All right, now that I equip my new armor, it is good to go. So I'm gonna end this right here. Thank you so much for watching. So this is interesting. I, you know, I need to. I don't know. I might. I wonder how long this demo can go, because. It's interesting, but I don't know if I would, I mean, I'm already playing other live service games. I don't know if I would play this one necessarily in my freaking collection of, of weapons. But it is interesting. I like the art style. It's a different take, but like live service is tough. You, I mean, like there's a reason why so many fail and only a handful is still around. So we'll see. But until next time, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys later.